Pattern Lab lives in our code base, it's not actually part of Drupal. Drupal doesn't know Pattern Lab is there. All it knows is you are connecting these files to create components. When building components in Pattern Lab, it is important to think about Drupal to ensure you are building components that will follow Drupal's best practices. One of the most important things to keep in mind when creating a component is, how can we support Drupal attributes? Drupal attributes is an object to store HTML attributes such as IDs, classes, and data attributes, which Drupal can leverage when rendering content. In most cases, you may not need to interact with these attributes, but it is important to still make them available in case Drupal needs them. In addition to attributes, Drupal uses a few variables like title prefix and title suffix that are used by contrib and core modules to inject markup into Twig templates. A good example is the quick edit button you see sometimes, or the contextual links. If you don't provide a place to pass these variables from Drupal, these features will not work. So while these attributes mean nothing to Pattern Lab, they mean a lot to Drupal. It isn't required for all components, but when you do see it, it looks like this. This is really just a placeholder in Pattern Lab that says, if there are attributes, add them here. If there are values for the title prefix or the title suffix, add them here. Then when we go to integrate with Drupal, we can pass those variables in so Drupal can find them. We can see in this comment block from Drupal that the attributes value is available here, as well as the title prefix and the title suffix. Here we are saying, let's take that attributes variable and put the attributes from Drupal here. And the same thing with the title prefix and suffix. Where we had that title prefix variable, let's put the title prefix value from Drupal in there. My rule of thumb is usually if it's a component that is connected to a node, a view, or a block, I think the content editor would want the features that passing the attributes and the title variables offer. Now that we saw what it looks like in our code, let's inspect this to see what Drupal does with the attributes. On our Drupal site, while I'm logged in as an admin, I'm going to hover over one of these movie cards. See how the pencil icon shows up? This is from the title prefix and suffix variables we added. If I click it, I can quick edit, go to the node edit page, or delete it. Let's look at this in the DevTools to see how Drupal knows to add these features here. Here on the movie card component, we see a lot of things that were added by Drupal, like these data attributes and role attributes to provide more information about this component. And see how we have the classes movie card and contextual region. When I created the component, I added the movie card class and added a variable for Drupal to add attributes, and this is where Drupal passes those attributes to. And in combination with the title prefix and the title suffix, the contextual links core module adds the ability to interact with this content inline. I want to show you what happens if we don't have the attributes or title prefix passed. I'm going to remove it from the component and the template, and then look at it again in Drupal. See how the contextual classes that was there before is gone? And see how the pencil icon doesn't show up on hover? I admit that this looks a little cleaner in the code, but it breaks a lot of great features that Drupal offers. Mm -hmm.